Hello everyone. Welcome to Spring Boot Tutorial Episode 13. This is my channel ProtoHub. In this episode, we will look into the problems on using auto-wired annotation. The problems that I will walk you through this episode are few, that I come across. If you know any other problems, feel free to quote that in the comments section below. So, to recap the list of problems on auto-wiring, look at this slide, or kindly re-watch the episode 8 of this tutorial. Let's move to the problem 1. Constructor injection, or any other dependency injection will override the field injection. Let's analyze it practically. First, create a class PayPal, and annotate it with component annotation. Now, auto-wire a class named, PayClass. Create a PayPal constructor, which is parameterized with PayClass object. Now, create a method named getData, and invoke the method getData from PayClass. Now annotate the class named PayClass with component annotation. Now, let's start the application. As the application is started, we can conclude that the constructor injection will override the field injection. Now, let's look into problem 2. Before diving into it, we have to make a note of one thing. We cannot use field injection using auto-wired annotation on the primitive data types, and derived data types. Instead, you can use at the rate value annotation, or at the rate resource annotation based on the requirements. In PayPal class, annotate the class using component annotation. Then, auto-wire the class named, PayClass. Then, declare the object for the object mapper class. Object mapper class is a dependency of Jackson library. Note that, it is not auto-wired as of now. After that, create a method and make a definition for it. Now, after I start the application, the application throws an exception on line 13. It tells that the field declared on line 14 is not injected at all, and hence it throws null pointer exception. The solution is to inject the bean for object mapper. Hence, annotate the field with auto-wired annotation. Now, let's run the application. After I run the application, the exception is not thrown, and the output is getting printed. That's fine, but for how many beans, you will use field injection? And does this approach feels like less readable? It will feel less code readable when we see the problem 3. In problem 3, annotate the PayPal class with component annotation. Now, auto-wire the class 1. Following that, auto-wire the class 2. Then followed by class 3 auto-wiring and so on. This may not obey single responsibility principle in some cases. But here, by looking at the code, you can see that the code is less readable, and when we use the same field injection approach in larger application, it will be very difficult for code readability. So far, we have seen few problems on using auto-wired annotation. If you also know some other problems with practical source code, kindly put that in the comment section below so that it will be useful for everyone. That's it for this episode. I will see you in next episode with another exciting topic. Until then, thank you all.